So this is hardcore trivia. It, it was a game on Steam charts that had zero players in the past month and we are going to play it. So um, why don't we just start eeny, meeny, miny right there? Where's my mouse? It is not on the screen. Okay, but it was right here. All stars. I don't know anything about the NHL. Welcome to the all-star quiz. Every correct answer gives you one point. Wrong answer takes one point off. On this version of the game, correct answer gives you one point. Wrong answer gives you minus one point. If you choose wrong answer, game is not telling you what the right answer is. Have fun. Question one. Which player called his shot during the 1997 All-Star Game in San Jose? Wayne Gretzky. Uh, uh, uh. That's wrong. <laughs> Alert. You can't even see it. It like pop a window popped up that says my score is negative one. Thank you. Question two, who was the first player to score four goals in an all-star game? I don't, I have no idea. <sighs> Mario Lemieux. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no. Okay. no I, my score is negative two. My big streamer head is covering the text. Question three, who is the leading scorer in all-star game competition? Wayne Gretzky. I am so smart. I am so smart. Now we just have negative one. How many teams have been shut out in the current three on three format? Three. Uh, uh, uh. No. Oh, dude, we scammed the game. Our score is still negative one. How many points did 2019? Dude, I'm not. Why even read the question? Six. <laughs> okay, now we have negative two. Was potential Eric Carlson goal. What? Question six. Was potential Eric Carlson goal called offside? So it's not no, A, no, B, no such event occurred. That's the same thing. And this event did not occur. So three of the answers are no, one is yes. So the answer is yes. <laughs> there we go. Quiz design. Give me a yes or no question, but there's four choices. <laughs> Which team did Gordy Howie represent? I'm assuming these are all real. Red Wings. Uh, uh, uh. How many questions are there? Before 2021 was the last time the All-Star Game was held in St. Louis. It would have been pretty funny if like one of them was after 2020. Uh, definitely 98. Uh, uh, okay. Negative three. Justin Bieber. Which Cal <laughs> Famer put celebrity Justin Bieber into the boards during All Star Weekend in 2017? Rob Blake, definitely. Uh, 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 dude. When was the All Star game moved? Uh, uh, uh. 
Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. And your total score is C pop up message. Negative five. <laughs> Game over. Thank you for playing. Return to main menu. Thanks for playing. All right. Um, how about C++ coding trivia? We'll go left to right. I might actually know this. Oh, dude, we're in the internet now. Welcome to the internet, everybody. Welcome to learn coding trivia. Yep. Unfortunately, we do not do coding exercises. Yep, yep, yep. I, I understand. Oh my gosh, do not tell me what programming is. I don't need a lesson on what programming is. Bruh. Hacker man. Every program written in C++ has a so-called main program. The name of the main program is called... I thought you could name it whatever, but... Main? Yeah. That didn't wave. Oh my gosh. One point. Between which characters are the main program statements written in C++? Brackets? Two points, let's go. What can be done with a C out object? Uh, print text on the screen, print text to a file. Can't it be A or B? I like how A and they're out of order. I'm gonna go text on the screen. What does a comment mean when it comes to programming? Text written between program files tend to make the code easier to read, yeah. Command that does nothing, kind of. Ignored by the compiler. I feel like B is like sort of technically correct. In which characters can comments be written? Uh, D, the slash asterisks. Oh, she's definitely hacking. Which is the fo which of the following is correct when initializing an integer? Hmm, is it float, car, or int? Int. Will the data stored in RAM be retained when the computer is turned off? This has nothing to do with C++. Impossible to say. No. What? My score went back to zero! Dude, I haven't missed one. I was at seven points and it's just like, you got no, you have zero points now. Which ancient Roman city was destroyed after the... Wait, what? <laughs> what does this have to do with C++? <laughs> Is it Pompeii? Okay, it's Pompeii. Apparently that's in C++. And I have one point now. Which Roman Empress... <laughs> ...reputedly discovered the true cross? I don't know. Say Elena? Question 10, which was the privileged social class in ancient Roman society? Plebeians? Uh, uh, uh. What was, oh, you don't tell me. And my total score is one. Even though you like switch to Roman trivia and reset my score to zero. The label yes 11a could not be found. Great. It can't go back to the game menu. Oh, there it goes. So I feel like we already did the Roman Empire. 
So solar system. Question 10, which was, oh wait, no. Welcome to the solar system quiz. No, I don't need, oh my gosh, stop. Just get to the quiz. I understand your game at this point of the game. It's not that complicated. <laughs> During the day, this planet gets hot enough to almost melt aluminum, but at night the temperature drops to negative 170 Celsius. I'm gonna go Mercury. Yes. One point. Did you know there is a planet that spins on its side? Isn't that Neptune or Uranus? Uranus. Yeah, Uranus. Mars is often called the red planet. Why does it look so red to begin? The, so the trivia voters, you know who voted for trivia? People that were like, well, I'm not gonna watch this crap. Let's just watch him go, oh man, I have to do trivia and then they're gonna go to bed. So it was one last left and then they left. Why does it look so red to begin with? Iron, right? There's a lot of iron, yeah. Correct answer is D. Which planet in our solar system has massive rings? I think that's Earth? Saturn. Four points. What is the largest planet in our solar system? Jupiter. Man, I would be a excellent first grader. How many moons does Mars have? Does Mars have moons? None. Ah, ah, ah. I don't actually know. Which planet do the moons Oberon and Titania belong to? Jupiter. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, uh. I have three points now. Which of these best describes the atmosphere surrounding Vedas? Thick acidic clouds? I mean, Venus is made of gas, right? Well, Venus is not cold. It is the hottest planet in the solar system. Like... Does that describe the atmosphere? Acidic clouds. Yeah, Mr. Cool. Four. In our galaxy, where is the asteroid belt? Hmm. Earth and Mars are next to each other. Isn't Saturn between Mars and Jupiter? Jupiter and Saturn. I'm gonna go Jupiter and Saturn. Uh, uh, uh. Three. What are comets mostly made of? Ice. Dirty snow, ice and dust, no. Rusty metal. Nope, not rusty metal. It's ice, isn't it? Your total score is... Two. Game over. Thank you for playing. Turn to main menu. That one worked. Uh, I don't want to do the flags. I really don't want to do the flags. General knowledge. Welcome to the general knowledge quiz. This version is beta three. Every correct answer. Yes, okay, it's a quiz. I understand. <sighs> what is the actual name of the Statue of Liberty? Statue of Liberty is a colossal neoclassical sculpture on Liberty Island in New York Harbor, New York, in the United States. What is the actual name of the Statue of Liberty? Is it Statue of Liberty A, D, the Statue of Liberty, Liberty enlightening the nation, Liberty enlightening the world, the Statue of Liberty? Uh, 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 we'll never know. 
Global warming is caused by too much power of which type of gas? Too much of which type of gas? Okay. The CO2? Carbon dioxide? Although that's kind of a simplification. What is the largest Scandinavian country? I don't know. Denmark? Uh-uh-uh. Which metal makes the strongest magnets? Iron? Yo! Zero points. What was the most expensive film to debut on cable television? I don't know any of these movies. I've heard of Fatal Attraction, so I'm going to go that one. Nope. Uh, uh, uh. How many strings does a violin have? Uh... Five? Dang. Uh, uh, uh. Apparently, I don't have any general knowledge. Score is negative two. Which cartoon has a cat and mouse? Tom and Jerry. Yes. Who became a prime minister at the age of 78 in 1994? What? I don't know, the B. Uh, nope. uh, uh. What is the largest land animal on the world? Isn't that the elephant? Yes, elephant big. How do you say hello in French? Bonjour. Your total score is C pop-up message is zero. Thank you for playing. This was the last questions on the Jenner, the Jenner knowledge quiz. <sighs> Wonder what load game does. All right, one flag quiz. Which flag quiz do we do? Because I'm not gonna know any of them. And like. It's just going to be me getting negative 10 points. European flags? All right. Here we go. Whoa. Apparently flags are ready to party. Wow, many cultures here, and no wonder, because this quiz is about the Euro. <laughs> Welcome to the European countries and territories flag quiz. <laughs> every correct guess it's the same rules as every other quiz. Have fun. All right. I don't know. Moldova. Dude, he's like staring at me for that one. How dare you not know that that's not Moldova? This one? Libertas. Uh, Monaco. Nope. Uh, uh, uh. He's so disappointed in me. Which is this flag? Uh, Lithuania. Uh, uh, oh, dude, uh. he's so mad. This is the same one as the first one. <laughs> is it not? Uh,. Iceland. Yo, gaming. Oh, 
Iceland is in Europe. Oh, this is Finland. Boom! I know Finland! For a dumb reason. But I know the, fin the Finnish flag. Macedonia. I don't think Macedonia is a country. It's not. I know Croatia actually as well, for another dumb reason. I'm gonna go Slovakia. Yes! We're back to zero points. This is Croatia. Dude, we're in the positive. For gallantry. Uh, what's the most gallant just country? Cyprus. No, well, no, no. Luxembourg. Don't give me that look. Um, this is Sweden, right? Eh. Could this one be? Is it's Ma Macedonia, right? Not uh, M A K E. It's M A C E, right? Or am I crazy and dumb? I think this is Moldova. No. I don't know, man. My total score is... Zero. Wow. We made it neutral. I'm gonna Google make Donia. Yeah, it's Macedonia. That was correct. All right, well, that was hardcore trivia. I can't do any more flags. I give this game out of 10. A two, because I think that Borkle quizzes often have more to them. Like it did have video and it did say, ah, 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 but the proofreading, the bugs with the scoring, <laughs> the strangeness of the categories of knowledge and the fact that the, the C++ coding quiz like all of a sudden turned into Roman Empire. I think they probably most, I kind of, I think most of their pictures are probably stock videos. Like they probably bought a stock video pack, but I wonder if that one dude is the dude that made the game. <laughs>